Hi Sam and I'm AJ Smith. And I'm Ezekiel Rodriguez and we're here to pitch you this week's global news story. That's right. Our news story has all the tea from 2016 to 2019. Wait, we're covering three years worth of news stories? Keep calm. I'm an outfielder. I'll catch you up. Many of us have heard of Matt Caesar. Some people will call him a hometown hero because of his success as an athlete. But we think he's so much more than that. He's a bone marrow donor and a philanthropist, in addition to being a professional baseball player. Whatever, you just said with like a fly ball way over my head. Okay, strike that. I have an idea. Let's reach out to Ayla and Kyra, fans of Matt Caesars, who will explain a little bit about some of the work he does for charity and how he got involved. Sounds good, AJ. Hey Salmon, I'm Ayla Fairman here with Kyra Garrison. I have been looking up to Matt Caesar for years. He went to school right here in Lower Township, just like us. He worked hard and went to college at Villanova and played both football and baseball. He was so skilled in both sports that he had opportunities to play both of them pro professionally. When he was in college, his football coach encouraged his players to be tested to see if there were bone marrow matches for anyone who is ill in need of bone marrow transplant. Bone marrow is the soft, spongy tissue inside your bones. When you get a bone marrow transplant, it's like getting blood or medicine through an IV. Being a bone marrow match is a 1 in 80,000 chance. When Matt was just 20 years old in college, he received a call that he was a match. His bone marrow could save the life of a 15-month-old girl. The medical procedure performed on Matt had many potential risks, but he didn't care. He knew he wanted to help if he could, so he jeopardized his career as a professional athlete, putting another person's health and future before his own. You might wonder why he would do that. As Matt has said, there is more to life than just baseball. Fortunately, Matt's bone marrow did help Anastasia, the 15-month-old girl who had leukemia. She is now healthy, and so is Matt Skeezer, who is enjoying a career as a professional baseball player for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Well, I guess there really are angels in the outfield. Stay tuned to hear how Matt Caesar has created a foundation that raises money and awareness to help those wait to help with bone marrow transplants for those in need. Like the baseball said to the above. Catch, Catch you later. later. Hello, Salmon, and welcome to the SCNN Local Edition. I'm Madison Campbell. And I'm Danny Francis. And now that spring has sprung, hopefully you spent some time outside. Maybe you even play a sport. March brings the excitement of college basketball's March Madness and Major League Baseball's opening day. In college, there is the NCAA, and they have basketball, football, softball, and so on. But Sports Travel Magazine, along with the nonprofit organization Meet AC and the AC Sports Commission, is bringing an exciting college championship event to Atlantic City. Esports are video games, and the company Collegiate Star League and World Gaming is hosting its championship in Atlantic City. And it's so much more than Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario games Mr. Mori used to play. Good grief. You have to picture these college gamers as athletes playing at the highest levels of the competition. So with more on how eSports has evolved from late night game fest to legit college activity, we are heading over to Boardwalk Hall speaking with Wim Stocks, the CEO of World Gaming. Hello eSports fans, I'm here with with Wim Stock, CEO of World Gaming. Thanks for speaking with us today. Sure thing. So Wim, when I hear about eSports, I think it's a group of guys playing video games in their parents' basement, but it seems to be more than that. Can you comment? Well, Ella, you couldn't be further from the truth. My company is the largest organizer of leagues and tournaments on college campuses. We run leagues on 1,600 co colleges and universities with over 52,000 student-athletes. 
that's impressive. How do you set the tournaments up? Just like any NCAA basketball or field hockey would accept, we host ours in games like Counter-Strike, NBA 2K, Street Fighter, Overwatch, and of course, Fortnite. Fortnite. <sighs> yes, but you don't win for dancing. You have to be at the top of your game, literally. We offer <laughs> scholarships and support the athletes. Sounds like esports is really taking off. When did this enter the co college area? In 2014, the first scholarship program started, and it really took off after that. Many serious players have their own custom controllers like you would see with customized gear for professional athletes. So esports isn't going a anywhere. It's only going to get bigger. Well, I for one love watching gaming videos on YouTube, and to go and see it live would be an exciting experience. We're going to make an official announcement in the coming weeks and we'll unveil the date and details at that time. Until then, keep practicing. Thank you for that, Mr. Stocks. Now back to the studio. Are you telling me that someone will pay for my college if I'm good enough at video games? Will someone please call my parents and tell them I'll be playing Apex Legends and training for a scholarship? Seriously, this news is great. I can't wait to hear the details about eSports Championship. Boardwalk Call will be transferred into Gamer's Paradise. There will be a stage with giant screens to watch the competition, while on the floor there will be stations to play games like Street Fighter and NBA 2K. This is going to be epic, and we hope you are excited as we are. That's all we have for SCNN Local News. Bye, Bye Sandman! Sandman. Hello Sandman. I'm Franco. And I'm Aiden. And let's get right, right into, into the school news. Ho Holy candy Batman, what's all this for? All this candy was donated to Mr. Mori's class as part of our community service project. You mean we can, rate, we can get money just by eating candy? That's right. Mr. Mori's class will be selling candy to raise money for the Matthew Caesar Foundation. Not only will students be able to buy these sweet treats for one dollar, but they will also be entered to to win an amazing prize. We'll get back to that later, but first let's talk it, let's toss it to Alec, Alec with our, who is our friend of Mars Candy Co Co Corporation, two of our donors. Thanks guys, I'm here with our two generous donors, Josh Webb and Veronica Mori. Josh has been working for Mars Candy Company for quite some time. Isn't that right, Josh? That's right, Alec. I've, I've been working for Mars for the last eight years. Whoa, that's amazing. What sort of candy does Mars produce, Michael? We're responsible for making Milky Ways, Snickers, Twix, M&Ms, and other famous candies. What, what, what made you want to help Mr. Mori's class? I believe the Matthew Caesar Foundation is a, gr is a great cause. I've, I've had the privilege of knowing Matt since college, and I believe what Mr. Mori's class is, is, is doing to help his foundation is a home run. We are also here with another donor to our community service project, Veronica Mori. Ver Veronica is the mother of our very own Mr. Mori. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Is this your first time working on a community service project? Actually, no, Alec. Through Ocean First Bank, we give back through Cape May County Chamber, Cape May Chamber, Woman in Business, and of course, we love giving back to our local school districts. How long have you known Matt and why is this foundation so important to you? Matt and his family have been friends of ours since Mr. Mori and Matt were kids. What Matt has done through his foundation has been nothing short of amazing. I feel that most people know someone who has been affected by cancer. By working with Be The Match, Matt has used his foundation to help save lives and strike cancer out. Thanks to both of you for helping Mr. Moore's class with this amazing project. Back to you in the studio. Ocean First Bank, putting you first. Wow, some generous donations by some generous people. Whoa, where did this bat come from? 
You Oh, you didn't hear? Every time a student purchases a pack of candy, their name is entered in a drawing to win this game used autograph bat by Matt Caesar. Candy sales will start the week we return from spring break and we'll go through the month of May. Students will be able to purchase candy in the media center and Mr. Maury's classroom. Remember, buying these sweet treats will help us not cancer out of the park. Signing, Signing off, school news. news. I'm Aiden. And I'm Franco. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day, Sandman.